I'm meteorologist Gary Lezak, Chief Meteorologist, 41 Action News here in Kansas City. A fascinating weather pattern. Is tornado season over? Here we move into June. Usually, tornado season will come to an end by around the middle of June as summer settles in. Look at the state-by-state -state number of tornadoes. Who had the most tornadoes? Take a look at this. If you look closely, here in the tornado alley, Kansas had 54 tornadoes as of the 1st of June. Missouri, 91 tornadoes, one of the most tornado-visited states this year. Five in Nebraska and 31 in Iowa. I don't know which statistic is more glaring, that five in Nebraska or this. Look at the southeastern part of the country with these high tornado totals. The number one state for tornadoes so far this year has been Georgia. 126 tornadoes in Georgia. Texas, just by the mere size of it, usually wins 118. And Missouri comes in number three with 91 tornadoes. Why does summer settle in and tornado season come to the end? Well, the jet stream retreats northward in response to summer arriving. The temperature contrast weakens and the jet stream lifts up to the north. And this is a forecast for a week from Saturday around June the 10th. An upper high or the heat wave creating machine begins developing. And notice how the forecast is for that jet stream to be way up to the north. This was our forecast for the winter. The same pattern that set up last fall and winter continues to cycle, according to my hypothesis. It continues to cycle as we move into summer. It will be no shock as the heat begins to build up later this month and into the summer and it dries out. The same weather pattern this summer from last winter continues. So again, tornado season is just about over. Look at those tornado totals from state to state. Yeah, New York State and the Dakotas haven't had a tornado yet in 2017. Tornado season will shift up to the north towards the Canadian border in the next few weeks and weekend. I'm meteorologist Gary Lezak.